I watched one last night with my daughter where you guys went to Romania. Oh, you went wow. to Dracula's castle. Yeah. So this is Vlad Tepes. That's is yep. that really where, where he supposedly lived, or is one of his castles? Is that what it was? Uh, yeah, one of I think his main castle was different, but he fought like some battle there, and Something. we also went to his uh, death place. But mm-hmm. yeah, like how many people had died on that ground? Probably thousands and thousands. Yeah, for sure, right? Yeah, you, the the bottle of uh, Dracula piss that you got out <laughs> oh of the God, water yeah. that you carried yeah. around with you. When when you're in that guy's area, like th- this guy, for people who don't know, Dracula, the the book by Bram Stoker and the, all the movies were based on this man named Vlad the Impaler, mm-hmm. who used to eat lunch while he uh, had his enemies like writhing on spikes in front of him. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was notoriously a, a ru- which which by the way, someone sent me Matt Stagg sent me this that um, he had been um, captured. When he was younger, he had been imprisoned when he was younger and probably had been raped and tortured. And that's one of the re- yeah, that's one of the reasons why he was such a ruthless person. Like he when he was a very young man, I believe. See if you can find that. The guy is a monster. <laughs> oh my god. So there's so many people like that from history where you you hear about what they did and you just ima- like this yeah. is the gentleman. Oh uh, yeah. You could reread that, I guess. It says, when Vlad was uh, called to a diplomatic meeting in 1442 with Sultan Murad II, he brought his young sons, Vlad III and Radu, along, but the meeting was actually a trap. All three were arrested and held hostage. The elder Vlad was released under the condition that he leave his sons behind. Oh, God. Years of captivity. Under the Ottomans, Vlad and his younger brothers were tortured. Oh, tutored, rather. In science, philosophy, and the arts, Vlad also became a skilled horseman and warrior, according to some accounts. However, he may have been imprisoned and tortured for part of that mm-hmm. time, during which he would have witnessed the impalement of his, the Ottomans' enemies. Mm. Scary. Uh, there's even rumors that, like, he would drink the blood of his en- enemies, which is why he gets compared to Dracula so much. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. The re- oh, go, go, hold on. go back down a little bit. The, the rest of Vlad's family, however, failed even worse. His father was ousted as the ruler of, how do you say that word? Wallachia. Wallachia by local warlords and was killed in the swamps near Balteni, Wallachia. In 1447, Vlad's older brother, Mer- Mercia, was tortured, blinded, and buried alive. Ugh. Jeez. People were fucking rude. Does Dracula, oh, yeah. Does that so, Dracula means son of the dragon? Well, in uh, Romania, they, they say it means devil now. They call it Dracula. They, they use that term like they... they um, but it used to. It's interchangeable yeah. with devil. That's what it used to mean? Son, son of, of dragon. dragon was what it originally was, but nowadays they say it's devil. Yeah. Amazing that that, that guy then became... What everybody thinks of as the guy with the slick back hair that's a vampire. Right, mm-hmm. the character. You know, like, did you guys watch the Bram Stoker movie, Bram yeah. Stoker's Dracula? <laughs> yeah. yeah. With Gary Oldman? Fucking great movie. Yeah. Man. That's, that's wild. He literally created the character, I believe, of, of the vampire. And, like, well, there was films like, have you ever seen Nosferatu? Mm-hmm. Sure. Like, that, that yes. is honestly probably the scariest figure in my, like, head. <laughs> like, and I want to say that, that was... <laughs> What year was Nosferatu? 1922. Wow. Damn, because that was a silent movie as well, I mm-hmm. believe. Yeah, right? it was silent. I saw that movie at the public oh, library oh, when God. I was seven years old. <laughs> Hate this guy. Yeah. Oh, my God. What a great monster movie, though. Like, what a great character. And he lived in coffins and shit, and he was on a boat. Whew. <laughs> oh. I hate it. Yeah, that was the original vampire. Yeah. I mean, one of the best original of the scary movies. What is that one? It's a remake. It's a different one? Werner Herzog remake. Oh, really? Werner Herzog <laughs> remade it? No <laughs> shit. When did he do that? I don't know. That's what it says. No kidding. 1922 remake, yeah. 2019. I never heard a peep about this. Did you? Uh, wow. Huh. Sure have not. Oh, huh, okay. 